So we're down here at the lot, at the shop. We got the charger. Don't mind the Kamal. We ain't doing nothing to it today. But I'm going to show you how to remove this front bumper on this charger. So I will have to pop the hood first. And you got to love Kentucky. We got a ton of water. Inside we go. Oh, the hood pop on the charger is underneath the dash kick panel. I guess that's what you call that. <sighs> now we open the hood. They are parts missing off this car because I am parting it out because I don't need it. I'm sure a lot of people need parts off this. So the car did have a little bit of fur damage, nothing major. It got about a little bit under the walker panels, but the engine is the main culprit of the uh, reason I'm not fixing this. Man could put a 2.7 in it, but uh, the engine is out. I don't know if it knocks or anything, and I wasn't going to take the time to find out, so just part it out. Now, the first thing you want to do when we're moving your bumper is they are clips here. You take you a one way, go around it, pry up, just like so. So you can keep going around it with a one way and it will work, but I got this 3D printed tool here. And I'm just gonna, let's see, use this end, go under and pull up if it don't break. Just like so. Now, they are one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, eight, I'm pretty sure they'd be one, two, three, four, they eight clips up top you need to remove. So go ahead and remove them and we go to the next step. I should pop a pair of pliers now. You know what? Ow. I said I should have bought a pair of pliers now. Should have. Hmm. This ain't the right type of clip. Well, it comes out. Whoever painted this bumper painted it with spray paint. Inside the bumper, I don't know how good you can see us, but I will show you both of them. There's a bolt right here. Should be. This one's gone. On the other side, there's a bolt. This one's missing too. There's a nut also. You have to go through the fender well to get it. It's in here. That's missing too on this one. The stud is gone, which is fine by me. That's the last we have to take off. Uh, the nut is on this one. Can you see it? It's right here. Right there. We got the nut on this side. Does that mean the nut's on this side too? I just didn't see it. Now we come down on the fender well. And they are clips. Here, here, and here. We need to remove all these clips. You also need to remove the clip that's here on both sides and there might be another clip over here so you can get to the boat that's inside you can move this fender well out of the way so let's go ahead and pop these clips out they should be a bolt up here should be a bolt on both sides this one does not have it now underneath there is a piece of plastic Which is under here. Sometimes that's connected. This one feels like it's not. It's held in by clips too. And if you got fog lights, you need to unplug them. Be gentle because you can damage your wiring. So let's go around to the other side. God no, that was tight. But we got it. Is the boat in this side? Is it? It's. Is it? I can't tell. Something is. No. It is not. Once you get this bolt out right here and this stud bolt, you go through the fender well. 
this and didn't have one but here this will pull out just like so you can lift up on it and pull pull out I think this one's still got a bolt here sometimes I got a plastic tab in them now the fog lights plug in you can twist and unplug those I'm hung on that side with the turn signal I am not now let's take them over there Let me set it right here. So that's how you remove a bumper off a Dodge Charger 2007 model. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment, get subscribed. Got more content like this. I try to upload every single day. Sometimes I miss that goal, but I do try. So thanks again for watching.